hello everyone you are welcome how to solve and find the value of this beautiful simplification math problem with the help of using different exponential identities and without using any calculator which is f raised to power 9 minus f raised to power 8 now how can we solve this math problem here we can solve this problem using two different methods the first one is to find out the value of f raised to power 9 and f raised to power 8 and then subtract the values this is the first method and then the second method is to take out the factor at s to power 8 common from both the terms. So here we will use our second method. So therefore we can write this first term next as at s to power 9. But 9 can be written as the sum of 8 plus 1 which is 9 minus at s to power 8. Now here in the first term we will use an exponential identity. So here in the first term we will use this one exponential identity. We can write a raised to power m plus n as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. So using this exponential identity, this number will become this will become a raised to power 8 times a raised to power 1, which is simply 8 minus a raised to power 8. And here this a raised to power 8 is common in both the terms. So we will take out common from both the terms. So this will become taking a raised to power 8 common. So here only 8 will be left and here only 1 will be left. So this will become 8 minus 1. What is the value of 8 minus 1? 8 minus 1 is simply 7. So this will become a raised to power 8 times 7. And we have to find out the value of this at is to power n. So we can find out this value using two different methods. One is to multiply at eight times. So this is I think a little bit difficult. So there is another way to find out this value. Here we can write this at as 2 q whole to power a times 7. Here in this one number we will use another exponential identity. So here in this one number we will use this one exponential identity. We can write a raised to power m whole raised to power n as a raised to power m times n. So using this exponential identity here, this number will become this will become 2 raised to power. We will multiply the power. So 8 times 3 is 24. So this will become 24 times 7. And next we can write this 24 as 2 raised to power. 24 can be written as 12 plus 12 which is 24 times 7 and in this one number again we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power n plus n which is equal to a raised to power n times a raised to power n so using that identity this number will become 2 raised to power 12 times 2 raised to power 12 times 7 and we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 12. So therefore we can write 2 raised to power 12 as, as we know that 2 raised to power 12 is same as 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 10. This is because if we combine these two numbers this gives him 2 raised to power 12. Now 2 raised to power 2 is simply 4 times and the value of 2 raised to power 10 which is a very famous number that is equal to 1024. So let's multiply these two numbers. So 4 times 4 is 16. 6 one will be carried. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 4 times 0 is 0. And 4 times 1 is 4. So here the video of 2 raised to power 12 is 4096. So here we will replace these two numbers with this value. So this will become the value of 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 times the value of 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 but we can write the second number as the sum of 4000 plus 90 plus 6 here we will close these two numbers inside the braces because first we have to multiply these two numbers and then multiply the result with 7 so here we can very easily multiply these two numbers without using any calculator here first we multiply this number with 4000, secondly with 90 and last with 6. So let's do this multiplication here. 
so first we multiply this number with 4000 so this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 now this number time 4 is we have to multiply this number with 4 so let's multiply 4 with this number so 4 times 6 is 24 so this is 4 2 will be carried 4 times 9 is 36 36 plus 2 is 38 so this is 8 3 will be carried 4 times 0 is 0 0 plus 3 is 3 and 4 times 4 is 16 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 16 million 384 thousand plus and let's multiply this number with 90 so again this number times 0 is 0 and this number time 9 is so 9 times 6 is 54 4 5 will be carried 9 times 9 is 81 81 plus 5 is 86 so 6 8 will be carried 9 times 0 is 0 0 plus 8 is 8 and 9 times 4 is 36 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 368,640 plus let's multiply this number with 6 so again this is very easy 6 times 6 is 36 so 6 3 will be carried 6 times 9 is 54 54 plus 3 is 57 so 7 5 will be carried 6 times 0 is 0 0 plus 5 is 5 comma and 6 times 4 is 24 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 24,576 times 7 and we will add all of these three numbers and then we will multiply the result with 7 so this is very simple now to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position so 6 plus 0 plus 0 is simply 6 7 plus 4 is 11 11 plus 0 is 11 so 1 1 will be carried to the next digit next is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 0 is 12, 2 1 will be carried to the next digit, next is 4, so 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 8 is 13, 13 plus 4 is 17, so 7 1 will be carried to the next digit, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17, so 7 1 will be carried to the next digit, next is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, and next are 16. So here the sum of these three numbers gives him 16,777,216 times 7. Now multiply 7 with this one number. So again this is very easy. And to multiply these two numbers we will start from the ones positions. So 7 times 6 is 42. So this is 2. 4 will be carried. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. So this is 1. 1 will be carried. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. So 5. 1 will be carried, 7 times 7 is 49, 49 plus 1 is 50, so 0, 5 will be carried, 7 times 7 is 49, 49 plus 5 is 54, so 4, 5 will be carried, 7 times 7 is 49, 49 plus 5 is 54, so again 4, 5 will be carried, 7 times 6 is 42, 42 plus 5 is 47, so this is 7, 4 will be carried, 7 times 1 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 117,440,512. So finally this is our answer and value of this beautiful simplification problem.